Hey Del Marv, it's Chef Barry from Bourbon Street on the Beach. Today we're here making fried oyster po'boys. You ready? It's showtime. The origins of the po' boy sandwich date back to the 20s, with some saying it evolved from restaurant owners referring to customers as poor boys. It's unclear who actually said it first. What is clear is that they are absolutely delicious. Especially when they're made by Barry Reichert, the owner and chef at Bourbon Street on the beach in Ocean City. Tell us about what we're going to be making today. So we uh, passed by football, so there's no Super Bowl, there's no Fat Tuesday, so what do we have left? Lent, right? So okay. now we have to do a Lent special every Friday, so Lent means we have to do fish of some sort, so right now, I came up with uh, oyster po' boys for this Friday's Lent special, so we thought we'd share them with you folks. Okay. okay. Sounds good. So what are we going to do? We're going to... So first, we got to season our flour. Okay. So take a little of that salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Just spread it all around on there. Okay. Be generous. Okay. <laughs> Don't put all <laughs> down good. That's fine. And then also a little of my Cajun rub. That's okay. the secret ingredient that oh, makes them really? wonderful. Okay. Is it your own? Yeah, I make it. You, you make can it. buy it. I have an eight ounce or 16 ounce oh. versions of that at the restaurant. And you can buy them. It's going to be spicy. Mm. There we go. My wife packages them up all nice and neat with our little logo and our <laughs> phone number on there, and they're ready to go. So, anyway, we're going to get five oysters. That's all we can fit on these big French rolls. That's what you need to start with. You got to get a French baguette roll. Oh, we're going to so yep, dredge it on each side. Okay. Then you're going to dunk it into the egg wash. Can you tell that I'm a whiz in the kitchen? I see that. <laughs> and then this. And then right on over. Can't so, make this in the crock pot. So, he, no, you can't. so, here's, so here's a little rule for you in the kitchen. Uh -huh. You have two gloves and two hands, wet hand, uh -huh. dry hand. Ah. Okay, dry hand. This is, yeah, so here. Oh, Let no. Me, <laughs> we, I'm all messed you gotta up get already. Them, you got to get them all on there, okay? So okay. wet hand, dry hand. All right, and then we just throw this guy in here. So I'm going to we'll keep this as started. my wet hand. Yep. Okay, come on, little guys. We're That's actually. Flip you over. <laughs> so, what is it that makes it a po' boy as opposed to just an oyster sandwich? Well, the bread. Okay. So the French baguette is is standard. You got to have that. And also, then there's some other rules of po' boys that we need to learn. And one of those is, did you want yours dressed or naked? Oh. So some people like to have them naked, and they're what we call plain James. So they get nothing on them, <laughs> and they love them that way. Okay. For those of us who like them dressed, we got to have a little tomato and lettuce. Okay. And if you really like to take it over the top, you go with a little coleslaw. Ooh. Ooh. Coleslaw's always good. So these fry up and very quickly. Um, all you want to do is get them nice and golden brown, like this guy right here. He's done. Mm -hmm. That was quick. You want to pass me that plate? With my dry hand? Yeah, with your dry <laughs> hand. <laughs> we'll get this guy on here. Let me <laughs> open that up for you. So you want a job, Lisa? I got a job. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to teach you another here. kitchen word. Okay. A slathering. We're going to put a slathering okay. of a remoulade all over the bun. All over. Okay. All over. I can slather, mm -hmm. I think. Wow, they get noisy little oysters. So these are selects. Mm -hmm. You want to try and get selects the larger oysters because you definitely um, want the bigger oysters for frying. The small ones fry up too quick. Yeah, they're not, they're just not sense. juicy and good. These are going to be juicy and wonderful. How are my slathering yeah, skills? You're great. getting there. It looks like you've done this before. Um, I, I slather? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the slather. Heavy on the slathering. Yeah. All right. Perfect. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. That sandwich, though, would last me three days. That's a big sandwich. That is a big one. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add the lettuce and tomato. You can. Use okay. your dry hand for that. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Do a little lettuce. Yep. Mm, people are going to see the way I do this. Somebody's, you're going to want me to come work for you. <laughs> hey, we have openings. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so another thing I like to do is I like to cut my tomatoes really nice and thin. Okay. So that when you lay them out like that, they're easy to fold. So how was Fat Tuesday for you? Fat Tuesday was amazing. We had an umbrella parade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was really nice. Oh, and we had fun. a really nice... A uh, Cajun band that came and played for us. So mm -hmm. we uh, Zydeco. we did. We had a little jambalaya and a little Mardi Gras mambo and every other Cajun standard that you could imagine. Okay. So then we're going to put the oysters on here like a so. These are beautiful. So I tell you what, we're gonna Very we're gonna nice. take a break from dressing the sandwich. 
We're gonna have it half dressed, <laughs> and then we're gonna come back, we're gonna finish dressing it, and then we get to eat it and find out more about what's going on down, down the ocean. Sound good? Sounds great. All right, <laughs> stick around, Delmarva Life will be right back. The oysters are fried up and the sandwich has been slathered. We're back in the Delmarva Life kitchen with Chef Barry Reichert from Bourbon Street on the Beach making a delicious po' boy. And, and when we left you, we were we were dressing it. Yep. And it, it's still not completely dressed. It's almost dressed, mm -hmm. it's almost fully dressed. The only thing left is our slaw. We'd make this homemade every day. It's very tasty and it adds just that little nice extra flavor that just yeah. takes it right over the top. To me, I, I gotta have my slaw on all my po' boys. I do it on my shrimp, I do it on my roast beef, I do it on my oysters, oh, yeah. I just I just gotta do it. It just helps with the, I always say that a, a sandwich nice. is, a, is a nice mixture of wet and dry, and I figure that. You know how we do it in Pittsburgh. Yes, yes, you I do. You gotta have slaw on your sandwich. You gotta have slaw on your sandwich, yep. So that kind of <laughs> carried over for me. I like that, very pretty. So anyway, the only thing left to do now is try this out and make oh, sure it's boy up to our standard. <laughs> An oyster okay. po' boy. <laughs> do you think we can do this neatly? I don't know that we can do this neatly. <laughs> this is going to be tough. This, this should be good. I don't even know if I can get a bite in my mouth. <laughs> don't laugh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my so goodness, good. that's so good. <laughs> We it's so salt. messy, but so good. Very, very good. Oh my good! I taste your uh, seasoning. Mm -hmm. Thank mm. you very much. Yeah, and the slathering. Oh, nice crunchy slaw too. I, I love that. Yeah, this is And it's very quick, very easy, <laughs> and very tasty. That's what you're looking for, especially if you're looking for something, you know, quick on a Friday afternoon or something like that. Mm -hmm. When you get home from work, you mm -hmm. can throw these together. You can have them already breaded up and put them in the fridge and make them when you get home. I, I try to come up with things that people can make at home and it's easy to make at home and this is one of those things. Yeah. You, know, now you can how many, duplicate it and it's just as tasty. And mm -hmm. how many different varieties do you make? So we do roast beef, we do shrimp, we do oysters. So different times of year we do different ones but you can always get a shrimp when they're like standard on the menu all the oh, time. Oh okay. Which one's your favorite? That one right there. This one right yeah. here. Yep, <laughs> yep, definitely. I can see why. And one. especially when you live here and you can get the fresh oysters. I mean it's just yeah. yeah, hands down the best. So, so what else is going on at Bourbon Street on the beach? So now the next big thing we have is our St. Patrick's Day weekend, mm -hmm. and we have our good friend Jimmy Charles coming. So that Saturday the 16th, he'll be taking a stage around eight o'clock. We'll be doing all um, Irish specials all day long. So we'll have the corned beef and the shepherd's pie rolling, and oh, Rubens pie. and Rachel's and anything else that you can come up with that's Irish. <laughs> we'll have lots of potatoes and carrots ready to go. It's oh, always a good yeah. time in that's Ocean so, City, yeah. St. Patrick's weekend. Yes. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for having us and we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you for feeding us mm -hmm. some po' boys. All right. Come back real we'll do. soon. We'll do. All right.